It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, it's time for our Stable Framework episode, and I want to talk to you about something called redirection. Now, in the book, Whale Done, Ken Blanchard describes a simple but effective way to train killer whales that works just as well with people. The pattern is called ABC. A stands for activator or goal that that person is challenged to accomplish. B is for behavior that must be observed. And C is for conclusion of their actions being correct or incorrect. Now, if they're incorrect, the leader would perform a technique called redirection, where the leader steps in and says, I must not have been clear in explaining my intent. What I really need you to do is this and then restates the goal for the employee. This way, the employee feels safe to make a mistake, knowing that the leader will accept responsibility for the blame and redirect. Ken Schwaber, the co-inventor of Scrum, taught uh, that when a student in a class doesn't understand something, the instructor should always assume the blame for the lack of understanding. I'm sorry I confused you. I'm sorry I didn't explain that very clearly. And then cover the topic again. This is an excellent teaching technique. These techniques breed a culture of safety. People feel like the leader respects them and wants them to be successful. When, complete, when complimenting your team, one good technique is to carry around a 3 by 5 index card with all your pros name, names on it. Uh, keep track of whom you've complimented recently by putting a mark by each of their names when you compliment them. This way, you can make sure that your comments are distributed throughout the group so that nobody is neglected. Although you're trying to keep your compliments stratified, be sure to keep them honest. People can detect fake or shallow compliments. Wherever you can, compliment your people in front of others whom they respect. This makes the compliment a thousand times more powerful. What I can tell you is that this is something that's missing in a lot of organizations. When you have people with different skill sets and people people who do different things and have different levels of contribution, sometimes it is important for us to be able to assume responsibility for when things don't go well, but also to be able to show respect and compliment when things do go well. And I think that for whatever reason, we become afraid to celebrate. And I guess what I'm trying to say is in Scrum and Agile, it's okay to celebrate. I think it's a good thing. And I think that's important for us to understand the principle of redirection. And I love the ABCs, the A being an activator, goal, B being the behavior, and then C being a conclusion or uh, some type of thing that we need to correct or, or uh, make sure that we need to pivot or adjust. This technique actually affords a lot of opportunity for us to practice the empirical, the empirical process where we can use transparency, inspect and adapt and to come up with the best technique to solve problems. So once again, this is just a very fast way for you to engage with your teams, to figure out what's going on, and to redirect as needed, to make sure that people are moving in the right direction, to make sure people have the tools they need to be successful. There's just so much, there's so much more that we can do if we focus on being stable and eliminating the hidden factory. All right, well, short and sweet today. That's going to do it. If you have a topic you want us to cover, please feel free to reach out to us. Learn more at AgileDad.com. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care. 